Hey, hey, Vinyl Community, Jeff here again. I'm gonna do another one of my my collection videos. Um, this one, actually, somebody requested, well, they didn't request, but they said, hey, I can't wait to see one day when you do your KISS collection. So we're gonna be jumping on the KISS collection. And um, yeah, and I'm gonna break this one up into quite a few parts. Uh, it's not gonna do everything together. That would be way too crazy. And I'm splitting up the vinyl at least into two parts I may blow through all the CDs in one part um, I'm probably then gonna go through I've got books comic books tour books I'm not gonna go through all my paraphernalia I've got figurines and stuff you know I don't have a lot of the I don't have like anything majorly classic but I've got some of the psycho circus figures. I won't show all the toys let's stick with mostly music and books at this point so let's get into this I'm splitting the collection basically into at least, well, yeah, two parts I think would probably cover it. First part's going to be from the beginning up until the early 80s. So, the Eric Carr beginning years. So, let's get right into this. Now, I, I will say, since getting back into vinyl records in 2017, I have accumulated, I guess, I think I've got most all the studio albums, but I don't have any of the rare all the weird pressings from kiss online i mean i'm not a big money spender so nothing in here is going to be really out of the ordinary it's just going to be the standard stuff and i realize now i left a lot of shrink wrap on some of these but so you know going back to the beginning um as my story has been told numerous times i got into kiss around love gun and then over the next like year picked up the previous album so i think it was at one christmas where my mother bought me I know it was at least two, Dress to Kill, I'm thinking it was all three of the first album. So, but anyway, so yeah, these are all going to be the represses. I don't really have hardly very many OGs. I don't have anything from my previous collection that was trashed a long time ago. So, anyway, we got the first one. We got Hotter Than Hell. All right, you know what? Yeah, okay. This is probably, these are probably all... I think these are all going to be the most of most of these are 2014 reissues or whenever that came out yeah this one just looked like it might have been a little older maybe it's because i didn't have the shrink on it so now quick story i have the originals the albums are in pretty good condition the cover as you can see is really banged up and this is how it came to me so i have a friend one of my former bandmates um, also, huge Kiss fan, huge Ace Fairly fan, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but not as much into vinyl records. And so he is a heating and air guy, HVAC guy. And he was in somebody's house fixing their heating and air. And they had a stack of records sitting in the corner. And he asked something about them. And they're like, well, yeah, we're, you know, we don't really, whatever. If you want to look to them and have any of them you can and he looked through and he found this and it's beat up and everything but so he said you know you want to sell it and they're like sure you know 10 bucks and he dug into his pocket had six dollars cash yeah that's fine they took six dollars he brought it over and gave it to me so yeah this fell into my hands now i did find a copy of this i mentioned in a re previous video i found a copy of this about three weeks ago about an hour from here went to a little thrifty type store uh, an hour from here and the guy had a bunch of kiss stuff from his own personal collection he was selling he had a copy of the originals the cover was in good condition except the top was chewed but the albums inside were like minty fresh they were just pristine very good plus it had the trading cards inside and the order form i don't think this has any of that in there but anyway he wanted like 80 bucks for it or something so i didn't buy it but I have a copy that's playable, and it's mainly, you know, it'd be nice to have an upgrade, but I'm not too worried about it since I got the originals. Um, the ex Walmart exclusive version of Destroyer Resurrected. And this keeps getting reissued. This is the orange, I guess, orange one. And then I've got the 45th anniversary Destroyer. You know what? I think I have another. And then I have, <clears throat> I didn't pull it. It's in my To Be Sold albums. But I have another copy of the story of the 20, I think the 2014 regular one. So, which I think is the same, same mix. This one just has bonus tracks. I have to double check that. I don't think there's anything different between the other one. If I have the other one, I'm pretty sure I do. 
But yeah, this is the double record set. And um, I'd like to have the box set, but this is all I got for now. Kiss Alive. So this is the repress, of course. And so it's got the book and everything in here, I believe. Yeah, that's really nice. And I see these copies of this all the time, the OG copies all around. But, you know, it was, they're still kind of pricey. And I found this one for a really good price, brand new. And I thought, I'll get the upgrade. It's got the book and everything. You don't got to worry about that. So grab that one. Rock and roll over. So these all, like I said, these all came out in, what, 2014, I believe. And then I started getting into records in 2017. So they were, some of them were a little harder to find. And that's why I don't have all of the 2014s. I have a bunch of them, but uh, like this one, I don't know if this is, that looks pretty new. Anyway, Love Gun, I think maybe this, maybe this is, yep, 2014, okay. So we're still in the 2014s. Love Gun, this is where it all started for me. This was the very first album I bought, 19, I probably early 1978. I'm pretty sure when I bought this, Kiss Alive 2 was also out, or it came out shortly thereafter. I've told that story a million times. Just like to this is an original OG press, so I have not found. I'd like to get the 2014 upgrade on this at some point or some other repress. These albums are in good condition, very good. You know, I wouldn't mind having a slight upgrade that covers. Got some ring wear and stuff on the back. Very playable, very sounds fine, but you know, wouldn't mind having a cleaner copy just to be a little bit more finer. All right, double platinum. This one I've had in my collection since I was a kid. And I think this is my second copy. I had the original copy that I had as a child. That went the way of all the rest of my records back in the 80s. But while my records in my collection that were with me in the military, the ones that got gotten rid of in the 80s, there were some records at home, including this, a couple other albums, Men at Work, and uh, Stevie Nicks, and... Michael Jackson Thriller and some other stuff that were of the lighter comparison, lighter styles of music that I just didn't ship to the military with me. Those probably 15 albums, the Eagles, stuff like that. This was in there because it was a second copy because I found this copy on the curb, somebody's garbage. They were throwing it away way back in the 80s. And I picked it up. And so it's not in the greatest condition. It's got some pops and cracks. It's not horrible. It's not totally scratched. It looks fine. But when you play it, it's got some pops and cracks. So I'd like an upgrade copy. The copy I had probably was better that that's the one that went away with the rest of my collection. But this is an actual one that I picked up in the 80s in somebody's garbage can. All right, these are things that uh, I got this on Facebook. It's the picture disc. I'm not a big picture disc collector. But before I bought this album, I found a copy of this on picture disc for really cheap. So I went ahead and grabbed it. I think it's the only one I've got on picture disc. So, I have Peter Chris on picture disc for that. I don't know why these are out of the wrong order. And then I have the Peter Chris. And this is green. This is actually from the box set. I do not have the box set with all four solo albums, but somebody did not like the Peter Chris album on Facebook and sold the Peter Chris version. Meaning, I cannot catalog this on Discogs because it's not available individually. And so, yeah. It is the reissue of the box set colored version and it's the only one i've got from the box set so i've got a picture disc and i've got an upgraded copy of that this i believe is an og copy of ace freely i don't think i can't read that purple and black pretty sure not all of these are 2014 i think this one is more of an original this one is 2014 um is black because it's just regular so this is one of the remasters one of the 2014 reissues and i believe this is just an og copy yeah this one uh i don't have the reissue of that and this is stuck in there just because it chronologically not chronologically but it kind of fits in with those so this is the record store day release from earlier this year of eric Carr's rockology all right dynasty first tour that I saw by KISS 1979. I was not quite 13, 12 years old. Saw this tour. Love this album. I'm fine with this. Um, and this is an issue, a reissue. I'm almost positive. I think most of these are. I just over the years slowly picked them up. Unmasked. Another one that I thought was cool. Still love this album. Not a big 
Not a big super critic when it comes to the 80 pop sears. I like this stuff, so I got that. And I am one of those weirdos that likes the elder. I take it for what it is. It's a different type of KISS record. I believe this is just your typical 2014 reissue. I wouldn't, you know, I didn't want to, I didn't jump on board the picture disc reissues and all of that. So I'm fine with just an original black copy. And then this is one I got from somebody online not too long ago, Kiss Killers. And this is actually where the collection is going to stop. Because for me, it's like, that's a good stopping point because you get up to this point. This is an OG copy, not one of the many reissues that came out. The, the insert is a little rough. It plays fine, probably very good. Would not mind having one of the, made, the minor, one of the more recent reissues you know pink or whatever the colors are not a huge you know whatever they've had recently i wouldn't mind having an upgrade but we're only talking what a couple new songs and then a best of this was a good playable copy better than normal it's you know like i said it's very good it's got a little bit of pops and cracks but i thought this was a good place to stop because eric card joins the band after peter chris leaves peter, so the peter chris years end eric joins and they put out basically one album which kind of doesn't fit anywhere so i figured that'd be a good stopping point because once we get into the next section it's just rock and roll you know so you get all the stuff then they started kind of getting a little poppier for most people's tastes and then they put out this strange one called the elder good place to stop that's where you're going to end here again nothing majorly collectible there just all of the average albums that's it for this part i will come back with part two and then it will go from there thanks a lot for watching rock on and rock hard